Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. Right, we're back in the Stronghold again today. We're back in the potion room where we ended the last episode because it wasn't finished and I'd run out of time. So I've done a little bit of work in here uh, and it started to look like a potion room. It started to look fantastic. Uh, and I've got a little bit more work to do. I need to sort out the, the dripping roof uh, and I need to sort out where to throw water bottles and I need to sort out the water filling system and I need to sort out how to harvest the uh, the the nether warp behind me but before I do any of that I am so excited to announce and I'm sure you guys already know that we've got a new alpha on the server uh, so uh, I'm sure he's already uh, announced himself to the world but we've got biz biz rebellion on the server and I am super excited I've been a big fan of business for, for years, for several years now. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased that he's decided to join the Alphas and and uh, and hopefully some of his genius is going to rub off on, uh, on people like me who can't build for squat. But anyway, enough of that. Welcome along, Biz. I'm dead excited. Right. So what I want to do today is look where I'm going. So firstly, just to show you what I've done, uh, this is what we built the last time. Uh, I've added to it and I'll whip around the back and show you what I've done in a second. But we've got the water breathing there and I keep calling it fire breathing. And Mo Yang, introduce fire breathing. So I've got my water breathing potions there. I've got my fire resistance there. I've got my night vision there. And I can't go past this brewing stand without singing night vision, night vision. But I'll go uh, enough of that. I've got my healing there. I've got my swiftness there. And I've got... Slow falling because I managed to find myself 50 odd or so, 57 phantom membranes. So we are going to have to sort out a phantom farm sooner rather than later. And, and Jax, Jax and, uh, and Wild have done uh, a relatively simple phantom farm. I think I'll be copying something like that on top of my island. So that's where we are at the moment. They're all working. They're all up and running. Now to show you what I've done, uh, it will be easier for me to do the last one. Now I've had to I've had to mess around with the redstone at the back because of how I'm going to be filling these bad boys with water bottles. Uh, we're going to be throwing water bottles into a uh, into a a sluice of water, which will go into a, a an item elevator, which will bring it up into a big loop of ice, a big water loop of ice that goes around the top of the potion brewer. But in order to do that, I need to mess about with this bit of redstone here. And I also, and you may have noticed it, I should have told, uh, should have mentioned this before I ran all the way around the back. I've put in indicator lights to show you when we're almost out of water bottles. Now we've got a couple, we've got five left in there, but there are none left in the chest. So if there's nothing left in the chest, the lights are off. Don't go pressing buttons, otherwise you're not going to get any water bottles in there. And I know some of you are probably saying, how do you know when you've run out of ingredients, Frills? Well, the, the truth of the matter is I don't. I've got to keep looking. Um, and I've only got a couple of carrots left. Now, to I could have put uh, comparators on there and indicators and everything else, but I didn't have enough room at the top. And to be honest, I mean, how hard is it to have a look to see how much ingredients you've got left in there? You stood here anyway. It's not as if it's running continuously. Where's my button gone? Have I got no buttons? It's no good, is it? Running around buttonless. There you go. Fabulous. Uh, so uh, you're standing here anyway, pressing buttons. I uh, It's easy enough just to look up. Also, I've had to change this very slightly, and I shall show you. I've had to put a redstone torch in there to power these pistons because when we were pressing the button, to start this, it was obviously firing the pistons and uh, and the piston noise was just getting on my nerves. So that had to stop. So we've got all of these now powered, which makes no difference. But because they're powered, they won't get powered again. Right, round the back to mess about with this redstone. So in order to get the indicator lamp working at the front, I have to move that chest. So if we get rid of all of this, don't need any of this, get rid. Be gone. And then we move this redstone dust around into there. So, as before, press the button, turns off the light, water bottles go through. Also locks this so the water bottles don't flow in. So we've done that already. 
need to get rid of a little bit of that just for the time being. I need to stick some stairs in here because we need to take this line up this wall to the top in order to give myself enough room to get the water sluice thing around the back. So we need a, we need that there. We need a solid block there. That goes up to there. Uh, we then go half slab. I've got half slabs, half slab there. So I'm going to stair step this up. It'll go from there up to there, up to there, but I can't have it running straight into into a half slab here. I want it to go into a half slab here and then up to there. But if I do that, it's going to power that block and it's going to power that uh, the uh, that dropper, which is going to kick this all out of sync. So I need to whip that block out and replace it. Come on, guess, guess what am I going to replace it with? Oh, you are so clever. I'm going to replace it with a stair, but I'm going to replace it in the wrong place. Well done, Frills. Genius. So now, so now that stair steps up without, have I done that right? That stuck out too far, have I done that right? I have done that right. So that now leaves me enough room at the back to move the chest back a little bit. So we'll move this chest. Where's my, where's my big chopper? Get that out. I might just need to move out a little bit of redstone. I will put that back. Don't worry. Have I run out of space in my inventory? I know you've said it a million times. I know I am pants with inventory. Officially, pants. That there. Um, no, that's not there at all, is it? Come on. You've just done eight of these already. The least you can do is get one right. I've got these holes around all over the floor as well. It's a bit of a safeguard because I am continually. Are you brewing something? Have I set something off and it's brewing something? Oh, probably. Who cares? Uh, because I was continually. Oh, oh, dropped one of my chests in there, have I? I was continually digging through the ceiling and water was coming down and ruining all of my redstone. So I put these little holes in there as a little safeguard. Water. Where's that chest gone? Where's that chest gone? Anybody see that chest? <sighs> Chestless. Right, so we want that. There, like that. Yep, and then I'm going to have to climb up here somehow. And then we're going to want a couple of blocks there to stop anything going in those said chests. And then I'm going to need a block there and then a comparator just there. So that's going to read a signal out of this chest when there's bottles in it. I'm going to power that block, which in turn powers. And I'm looking. Probably got really loud then because I'm trying to look underneath the block. Do you ever do you do that when you stood there and you move your head to try and look under blocks rather than move your mouse? It's a flaw. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, so that's that. That's that. That's there. That's up to there. I need to fill that in so there's nothing peeking through. Need to put a little bit of room there because I need a. I need that going into there. And this is where my slushing water chute kind of malarkey thing is going to go. Going to go all the way around here. I need to grab some compact, compressed, compacted. What's it called? Is it compressed ice? Is it compacted ice? It's called compressed ice. 21 is not going to be enough. Do I want blue ice? Be brilliant, wouldn't it? Is that a bit rude? Blue ice. Right, 
Well, if that's not enough, I'll just come back and get some more. So now I need some glass as well. Shall I use glass? If I use glass, I'm probably not going to be able to see it. Hmm. Need some fence gates as well. So I'm going to make some going to make some fence gates and what I'm going to do is hop up here and start putting compressed ice all the way around here and then we're going to fill this in around the outside and put some water in here and oh it's going to look fabulous and everything's going to shoot around here at warp speed and so on and so forth. So let me just lob this in and I should be back in a second. Okay, now I've got that in. All the way around the outside. And this glass here, you can't see it, but it's there. Man, I love that glass and I hate it at the same time. Uh, well, we are going to find out, aren't we? Whether there's glass there when I start filling it up with water. But before we do any of that, I need to stick in an item elevator, which is going to come down there. We're going to throw in the water there. It's going to, going to whiz down here. We're going to throw, throw water bottles in here. And it's going to sloosh down. Oh, I don't need that many slooshes, do I? Sloosh down to here. Yep, and then we need to grab our droppers. Dropper up there, and then we need to put another one in there. Am I going to get that one in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to dig this out. I need to put a a hopper at the bottom. So this is going to have water in it. Bottles are going to go into there, into the bottom, uh, into the bottom dropper. So we need a comparator. A comparator? Are you a comparator? Comparator. One of them. Some dust. Creating the clock. Uh, I really do need jump two. I am lost without jump two. Um, yeah, I really should. I bang on about it often enough. I was actually going to not put any uh, any light down there because because it's all going to be sealed in. But I will put light in because I always say put light near flashing redstone. So practice what you preach, frills. That's want one more. Gonna be able to do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. So now anything that goes in the bottom, we're gonna throw in a couple of them. And it came out. Aren't we? The top bananas. It came out, went straight in there because I forgot. So it's in with my water bottles. That's brilliant. Uh, so now I need to fill this up with water. Uh, just going to scare me to death. Before I do that, though, I just want to run around here. It's going to come across the top of here, uh, which is a bit of a problem because I can't put blocks there. Otherwise, it makes the, the bottom too low. So what I'm going to have to do, I knew that was going to happen. So what I'm going to have to do is raise it up by one block. Uh, so all the way along here, it's going to have to be this high. But obviously I can't, it, the, the items won't travel upwards when they get to this end. So what we're going to have to do here is just stick in a bit of soul sand. It's going to get down to the end here. 
going to shoot in, go into a bit of soul sand, and it's going to get shot upwards, and then it's going to go along here, one block up, and round the corner. Over here. Right, let me stick some water in, so, so I don't bore you too much, uh, and then I shall see you back here in a second. Okay, so I'll do one last shifty around the outside of it. Can't show you in here now because I've filled it all in, but it comes across at the top. It goes, drops down into there. It comes over all of the, uh, all of the uh, the hoppers. And because now, in the past, prior to 1.13, if you had water running directly over a hopper, there was a very good chance that the bottles would get stuck in the hoppers and they wouldn't go any further. But because uh, items now float in water, they won't get stuck on the on the hoppers and they'll whiz straight over unless they get sucked in. And the chests obviously still work with uh, with water above them. So now we need to stick some water just here. The water bottles are going to go in there. They're going to flow down there. We need to fill that in. Uh, fill that in. Actually, fill that in with a a stair. Make it look nice. Fill that in with a stair there, and then put a stair here, which should be waterlogged. That way, we won't fall in the water. I need to grab a load of bottles. Twenty four is nowhere near. That's not a load, is it? Have I got any more glass anywhere else? Also, don't have any glass anywhere. Uh, can you make? You can't make. You can't. I know you can't. You should be able to. I'm gonna have to run off and get some more glass, then, aren't I? But this will this will do as a test. This will serve as a test. It's gonna go in there. You're gonna go along here. This should start filling up. And when the back fills up, we should get. We should get a. Uh, the light go off. Now, what you need to do is make sure your inventory is completely full. Because when we start filling these bottles, I want to just start throwing them all over the floor into there. Uh, and if I, if my inventory is not full, then I'll just start stacking them in my inventory. We don't want that. So if we stand sort of here, and then fill the bottles. Oh, there you go. We've, we're on a winner. We're on a winner. I didn't doubt myself at all. Now, obviously, it's going to fill this this one up first, and it's going to fill that one, and it's going to fill that one. Every so often, the bottles will whiz over the top of the hoppers, and it won't suck them in. But uh, the majority of the time, this is going to get filled first, and it's going to work its way around. But if I go and grab myself a load of bottles, which I'm going to go and do right now, then it shouldn't take me too long to fill all of this up so I'll be back with some bottles in a minute brilliant so I've got myself a load of bottles so we'll throw all of these in brilliant so now look they're already filling up this one should be next Now, if, if they all fill up, they'll whiz around the outside a little bit for five minutes or so, and then they will despawn. If I didn't want that to happen, I'd just have to stick more chests in around the back. But I think a double chest full of water bottles should be enough. And then there's obviously the, the three or four hoppers behind the back as well. I wonder if we'll be able to see them. Oh, I was going to say, I wonder if we'll be able to see them, but we can't get around the back now anyway. Anyway, you're just going to have to trust me that it's working. So that's that's that job done. What I want to do now is I want to rip out this ceiling because it's very dark and dingy in here. Have all those bottles gone? And I've still got these to fill up. That was four stacks of bottles. <sighs> I'll get some more before the end of the episode. Right, I want to rip this ceiling out and then cover, uh, replace it with glass. Uh, because that looks really cool. So that's what I want to do now. I'm hoping that if I pop out... I don't want to pop out those ones, do I? They've got torches at the bottom of them. Uh, 
Uh, I want to pop out some safety holes. There, 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 and there. And then I'm just going to rip out the ceiling. And obviously all the water is going to flow down. But I'm hoping that it will all flow into these holes. At worst, it's just going to wash away some of my buttons. Uh, and I should be fine. However... It should flow into those holes and not flow everywhere else. Like that. Now, the last time I did this, when I was uh, ripping out all the back, I got visited by loads of dolphins who just wanted to come and play with the blocks. Didn't help me at all. I've also got a conduit knocking about not too far away, so I don't have to worry about water breathing. Or night vision, night vision, night vision. Is it broken anything yet? Look at that. Safety nets. Don't leave home without them. Oh, I was going to fetch them, but I'm not going to. Is that a drowned over there? Can I see one? Oh, that's a, the, uh, the thing I put in there. It was in the wrong place, wasn't it? Right, so now we need to replace all of this with, with lovely, lovely, super clear glass. And this should all drain out. And look at that. Brilliant. So now I need to grab myself some sea pickle. I think I've got some sea pickle knocking about. If I haven't here, I have somewhere out. Oh, there they are. So grab myself some sea pickle. Hello, fellas. You all right? Yeah, you all right? Good job these villages don't need feeding all the time. If we go up through here, I'm going to do a little bit of gardening, so to speak, around here. Get rid of some of this ugly, ugly brick and replace it with some not-so-ugly brick. And then throw down some sea pickle in strategic places. I really don't, if I can help it, I don't want to be able to see it. It's difficult to see whether it's lit up properly because I've got... I've got night vision, haven't I, from my beacon, from my uh, conduit, so it's not easy to know. So I'm just going to have to play it by ear and keep going up and coming back down again. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? There he is. Come on then, fella. Let's have you. Let's see how tough you really are. Come on. Got Nautilus shell as well. Let me eat something. Just to get myself all healed up. Right. You ready then? Let's go. There you go. That's, that's the way to do it. Didn't get myself a trident though, did I? Not that I could pick one up. Anyway, got this Nautilus shell though. Right, so where were we before I was rudely interrupted? I was putting sea pickle down, wasn't I? So I'm going to lob these down and, uh, and we'll have a look, look at it from the inside when I've finished. I've got some shears as well. And I'm going to go and grab some kelp. I'm going to grab myself some seagrass. And uh, we'll get some of that on top. And it's going to look pretty darn cool. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, something's been playing on my mind. Look at that, by the way. Brilliant. Loving it. Left a bit of 
green and green stuff up there because I figured that if it was outside, it was probably going to get a little bit mossy. So I've left some of that up there. But something's been playing on my mind. Firstly, I forgot to take out those stairs that we dropped right at the beginning. And I know you guys have been shouting to tell me. Uh, am I going to be able to break these without... Oh, should I go through somewhere else? Should I go through here? Save me messing it up. So I need to grab the... Hopefully... Grab the... Uh, stairs. I can't even... I don't even know where they are. Are they in here? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I... I was reasonably sure that they would be in... One of those things. Maybe they're not. So that was one thing I was concerned about. The second thing I was concerned about is the fact that we threw in a lot of bottles. I mean, we threw in four stacks of bottles. Um, and I thought that should have started filling this side up, but it hasn't. So I'm now beginning to think that they've probably got stuck at the top of the soul sand. They would have been shot up and they would have got stuck in the block at the top. Uh, and they wouldn't have started flowing that way. So we need to get up there. Got my safety hole. There you go. So I need to just get up here and I need to get rid of those. Oh, those bricks are going to go round now into the, into the hoppers, aren't they? Uh, but I think they were popping up, getting stuck and not flowing that way. So now I've taken out those blocks out. They should, in theory, I love this theory, they should now go around. So I need to run around the other side now and and get out those bits of stone that will quite clearly be in the other side. Don't tell me that you've... Well, I'm now beginning to doubt myself. Where have they gone? They did fall in, didn't they? Hmm, this is turning into a bit of a mystery now. I've no idea where they went. Oh, no doubt they'll they'll turn up when they think when it stops working, I'll know where they are. But they should be here. Anyway, let me go and grab some bottles because uh, I've got one last job to do before we call it a day. I need to automate this by sticking a button in and a couple of pistons. But I can't do that until I've, until I've started filling these up with water. So give me a second. Okay, so I've grabbed some more bottles. So let's throw these in. Go and have a look what they're doing up here. That look like they're going around. Yeah, it does. There they are. Fabulous. So this is now working. Ah, oh, really has cheered me up. Okay. Brilliant. So that's all of those in. Let me fill these back up with. <sighs> it's late. It's late. You can tell it's late. Let me fill these back in with these. So 
So now what I want to do is I want to stick in some pistons at this end. I'm hoping to be able to do it without digging too... Well, I'm not going to be able to dig. Uh, I'm not going to be able to not dig out a lot because uh, I need a lot of room here. But I'm going to stick some hoppers under here. Items will get sucked through soul sand in by a hopper. So if we have hoppers under here leading into a uh, leading into a, a little item elevator leading up into some chests that I'm going to stick here just there with a couple of uh, with an item elevator running up into the bottom of that via there then uh, when we get the pistons working at either end to push the soul sand, it's going to break all of the uh, all of the uh, the wart. The wart's going to get sucked up by the hoppers, and then it's going to get fired up into the chests. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to put some some stairs above them so that the the chests work. But I can do that. So let me throw in some redstone underneath, and then we'll we'll have a look at it. Okay, so uh, so I've Lobbed in a bit of, uh, of redstone. It's really, really basic stuff. There's a button here. I did think about having a pressure plate, but then I realised that uh, if I ran over the pressure plate and the wart hadn't all grown, I'd just be wasting my time. So I've, I've put a button there instead. I might change that for a stone button. So it blends in a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so press a the button. They're gonna the, the these pistons are going to fire. A few ticks later, these pistons are going to fire. All of the all of the items are going into all of the the, the, the nether wart. Then will be sucked through the soul sand into the hoppers. They'll flow round the hoppers into the bottom of the little two dropper item elevator. There is a, a little uh, observer thing just there because I love observers uh, so that's that very very simple mechanism and there's me putting the wrong blocks back in again so I guess what we need to do now I put a bit of lighting down here just while I was doing it so I didn't have to worry about mobs So if we fill all of this back in again, I am going to be sticking in some lighting. Um, I might have to move this over to the side to put the lighting in. I'll worry about that. Worry about that later. I just want to get this done now. So we run down here and uh, press a button. All the wart gets harvested. Okay, we are going to get a few, just a few, sticking up over the edge. The rest of it goes up into these chests. I'll have to have a look at that, find out what's happened. There should be more than, should be more than. Oh, I, oh, I did pick up a lot though. I I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a success and it works, and then we can just run down here with twenty odd wart and then replant. So that will do for today. I've got a little bit of clearing up to do, but I think we're gonna call it a day for today, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like, and if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.